All right, Kenman here, and today, uh, what we have here ticks off several boxes on the old checklist. Um, this is an all in a day. I went online, I researched, I found it, I ordered it, it was shipped, it was delivered. I'm doing the unboxing here today, all in a day, plus what this is kind of ticks another box, plus we're, we're going to be able to do some customization to it, ticking boxes all over the place. What is it? Let's get to it. Before we start here, I'm not sponsored, uh, purchase this at retail price do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment down below. Bag on the floor. We have a CJRB all in a day, you know, could mean many things depending on where you live what your shipping capabilities are, what time of day you order it, what happens to be in stock. Well, we've gotten quite a few of them already. I'm going to keep going with the series. Um, this one here. All right, we got a CJRB. We'll use my pyrite to open that one up. What CJRB did we get? in the old order all in a day here's our pouch there's our gel box on the floor keep it nice and clean another pyrite <laughs> the pyrite lights so we've got a nice cgrb cool stuff sticker the cloth the pouch and the knife this was 30 bucks Come on, and all in a day. So not only are we, I, I didn't leave my house. I didn't want to use any of my other knives today, but I was able to place an order, have it delivered. Here we are unboxing it, and it's a pyrite. <laughs> Come on, what is the world that we live in today? Look at this mini bag on the floor. So we have unboxed some pyrites. We have looked at pyrites on the channel. We've talked about it. You've heard me kind of rant about this particular model. Here it is. The pyrite light. The newest version of the pyrite. Been out for a while now, I guess. But um, I think it's the newest one to be released. Uh, there are so many different versions of the Pyrite that it's, it's just a really cool, nice uh, EDC using knife. Action is good. This one's great right out of the box. I'm trying to be a little careful. There's something with the Pyrite light. I have cut myself a couple times with one of these, but I have not on the other Pyrites. Long story short, the Pyrite light, they have chosen to make the blade longer. Then the standard pyrite, we'll just get right to it. When you get in here and you look, the light is just a little bit longer. And that extra length, what happens is down here, that tip, look at how close it gets to this end, right? So you have to be completely clear of this area right here. It's touching my finger right there. Right, so all the way to there in order to be clear versus this one, you can be all the way up to here and still not get hot, caught by that. And that's just that right amount that when you're holding it in your hand, I have a larger hand, it's coming to drop right here. This is just right enough. I have many pyrites like you've seen. Here's my other pyrite already hijacking this unboxing but the pyrite does not uh catch your thumb your your palm right there but the pyrite light certainly can um that would be the downside for me personally um when i love the pyrite so you know me you know i love it um it's just that extra little length on here i don't think um is good for me personally with the size of the hand that i have the way that i hold it the way that i use it like i said i've proven to cut myself twice now but you just, I just got this one. How have I done it twice? Oh, that's right, because I have this one. 
Man, tell you what. Pyrites, 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 pyrites. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Pyrites. <laughs> you know, I don't have the pyrite large. That, that does kind of exist out there. I've handled a few others. A few have come through. I've done some customs of some. I've got a couple customs coming up soon. Um, here's Meredith's right here. MPG's pyrite. Just to put pyrites on the stack here. It's a great knife. Uh, obviously, I enjoy it. I've got six, seven of them in the building right now. And there's definitely three, four, five of them I've customized and have gone out. Meredith's will be happening pretty soon, so pay attention for that coming up. Um, this is my classic standard one. Not the first one I got. The first one I got was black, and I uh, laser marked it. And uh, uh, one of my one of you guys wanted it, so I ended up selling it to them. But uh, I really like this one. I could probably do some customization to it at some point. I don't know why I haven't, but I do like it just for what it is, and I do uh, use it for pretty much all my comparisons and unboxings great knife this is probably my favorite pyrite the rose gold buoy super cool look super good feel just classy and clean never cut myself on this one either you know but man tell me that bowie blade isn't just awesome i really like it i really like it and the mini mini pirate is nice a little small for me but uh it's definitely um, gotten me interested in more minis. This was one of the first ones I got. And once uh, Edyard, 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 Edyard's got me putting these lanyards on there uh, for the small ones. It actually makes it feel very manageable in my hand. That choke up spot feels good. Uh, it's a good little user for the mini. I do have a mini shootout uh, series that I just started. You should check those out if you haven't. Uh, kind of a fun one and the Mini Pyrite is definitely part of that. I did the laser mark on that handle too. Nice little subtle wave pattern. Pyrite is a great knife. Okay, so now we are into the two. I have dueling Pyrite lights. Got to be careful with this. I do not want to accidentally hold it tight up in there like I said I have cut myself with this exact knife more than once it's a great knife though it still works good um, and I'm glad I have it uh, I had to get this one because it was the first right when they came out I ordered one and this is the one I got um, but this one boom he's out of here this one is part of all the day all in a day series so I've been kind of doing several videos with that, and it was kind of was cool when I go on to, I've been going on Amazon, and you type in pocket knife, and then type in will be delivered today, and then you, you know, you might only get 10 different options, you might get 20 or 30 or a couple pages worth, and uh, on this particular occasion, I think I did see it one other day, um, but they had this one up, they had, it was the... The blue one was $30, and this one was $40. The white, or kind of, they call it almost gray, but it's more white. Um, but it then had a $25 or 25% coupon, which then brought it basically down to that same $30 price. So, CJRB Pyrite Light out the door, AR RPM 9, and this like FRN scale with the textured pattern for $30 I mean you can't go wrong for a budget knife it's got that great choke up spot like I said my only issue with it I've already kind of felt um, do it when I go to open it see right here where I'm going to open it it's right next to my palm I felt it graze my palm I haven't actually cut myself opening it but uh, it's just so close the way they've got that blade just going way out to that end some people like it, some people don't. Everybody's got different personal tastes. But uh, like I was saying is another thing that this uh, does tick off on the box is the categories of KDK customization. Well, we're going to customize it. We're going to do a die on these scales. Perfect little um, contender for a nice die project. We're starting with this nice, even kind of whitish color. What color should we do? I don't 
preferred bl dark blues with the black. It's going to obviously contrast off the black. So darker colors I'm not really much of a fan of, but I'm open to any suggestions. People want, what do you want to see? Maybe we should try a fade since you can get this in a few different colors like the green. Maybe I should just try to do an interesting fade or something on this that you wouldn't normally see or a color that we can somehow accent the uh, detailed area. But um, the other thing, I guess, now that I think about it, is I wasn't sure if I was going to do it with this one or maybe this one, but I guess I have them both. Um, but what I want to do is I am going to clean off one of these blades and kind of mess around with it. So I'm going to go in and sandblast all the black off and then maybe do like an acid wash or a some type of etch or something or I don't know. I'm going to do something different, but one of the reasons I wanted even to do that in the first place is because I'm going to grind this down too. So I'm going to take this and make it a little bit more of a sheep's foot kind of a blade. Maybe, I don't know how much I'm going to bring off, but at least like this much. So I'm going to definitely turn it more into more of a foot kind of a shape, drop her down to like there. And then that way there's no uh, possible uh, way for it to catch me on the palm. And I just wanted to do some experimenting, try some different things that I haven't done. I can grind this down. I'm going to be real careful not to overheat it when I do it. But because I'm going to do that, that's going to remove that black coating. So I'm, I'm basically, I intend to grind it back down, reprofile it, make sure it looks all good, sandblast it, clean it all up. And then go back in and resharpen it and see what we can do. So it'll be a custom blade, a custom handle. What color would you like to see? Do you have a pyrite? Which pyrite do you have? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you cut yourself on this particular version? Comment below. Tell me what you think. What would you like to see? I love the pyrite. This one, like I said, the, they do give me that little issue. I'm going to try to see if I can do a KDK custom with it and uh, make that situation go away and make it a little unique. Who's excited? Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.